Oh hi kids. I am Bob the Tomato. Welcome to Veggie Tales. I got a new MacBook Pro recently. Do you like it? I got it as a gift from my wife, Letty the Poblano Pepper. Anyways, since you are here, I might as well tell you about what I am planning to do with it. I might practice my animation skills because a family member suggested that I should practice to become better. Oh, what's this? I don't normally get these kinds of pop-ups right out of the blue like that. But anyways, I will install this update. It looks like it may take a while, so I am going to go. This won't take but a minute. Wait for me to come back, okay? You thought you were going to get a system update for your new Mac, but you are dead wrong Bob. Instead, we will give you was was in Bot Bot Zero S, and we will troll you and your desktop with pictures of cut up tomatoes. Because we are way better than your dumb Veggie Tales show, and it will always be that way. Was was came up with a good idea. Let's do it. Hey, this is very strange. Was was and Bot Bot, my business rivals, are on my desktop and have plastered a plethora of cut up tomato pictures. I need to turn my face cam on to confront these two troublemakers. Oh no! We got caught by Bob, our worst enemy. That's right. And you are in so much trouble. You are not supposed to be breaching my privacy, or anyone's for that matter. Not only that, but you ruined my desktop with pictures of cut up tomatoes. I have to say, I am slightly offended. Why did you do that? Well, it's simply because your show is hot garbage, and that we are way better than you. Now, it's time to unleash the true power of our operating system on you. Nobody can tell us that we are a VeggieTales ripoff ever again. Oh no! What have I gotten myself into? All I wanted is to use Blender, but now, it has come to this? Unbelievable! Welcome to Woz Woz and Bot Bot OS. I am Woz Woz, and this is my best friend, Bot Bot. And we will be your guides. Please set up your profile, and then you may proceed. I have a few questions about your little operating system you made. First of all, the sign-in screen looks so cheaply made. Why is that so? Like really, Apple and Microsoft do a better job than you. And two, can I change my profile picture, please? I want to change my picture to a photo me and Larry took a few days back. First off, you need to understand that where this operating system comes from, we are very poor, so we were on a lot of limitations. And second, you are not allowed to have profile picture changes. You can only have the hideous was was and bot bot profile picture. Now be quiet and stop complaining. You have been doing it for almost an entire minute. Really now, who in the world names their kid Bob? Shut up. Was was? Bot bot? What kind of names are those? Bob is actually a formal name, unlike those. Oh well, I might as well calm down and set up my account. Oh my peanut brittle. I hate this wallpaper. I want a rack, shack, and Benny wallpaper. But at least the icons look nice, they look like they are updated with the times, 
And they do not have titles. And wait, is that Siri? I will try and ask a question later to see if this works. But right now, I must get rid of this background before I get blinded by its stupidity. What? I can only have a was was and bot bot wallpaper? But I asked politely for a better wallpaper. Give me it now. No. You are prohibited from changing your current wallpaper. You can only use the default wallpaper, and that is final. Now you listen to me. I want a better wallpaper, so hand it over, or else I will destroy you limb from limb, right now. Wow. Calm down. There is no need to shout. We will give you your rack shack and Benny wallpaper. Just don't break us apart. Please. Wow, thank you. This is much better than my old wallpaper. And on a side note, Rack Shack and Benny is one of my favorite Veggie Tales episodes, because Rack is one of my favorite character roles. Anyways, I will open up the music application first. Now hold up just a minute. I am not gullible. I know what you are going to try and do to me. Wait. Um, what do you think we are going to do to you? Your theme song, and your show as a whole, is a fantastic way to get on my nerves, so I won't even bother opening up the music or video applications. However, I will try out the delivery application, and order something. But before I do, I have two questions to ask. How am I going to process my payment info in a delivery application when I have not even entered this in yet? I mainly use a credit card to pay for my food. Will this be taken care of in the application itself, or do I have to enter it in system preferences somewhere? And two, why isn't my face cam not turning on? I tried numerous times to turn this on but my face cam is not working. I will respond to your questions in the order you have asked them. 1. You can do both. On the delivery application, there will be a separate pop-up window that will ask you to type in your payment information. And 2. Was was and bot bot OS does not support face cam technology. Only specific Bluetooth accessories and actions, such as using AirPods and Bluetooth file transfers are supported on this operating system. We do not plan on bringing face cam technology in any future updates, so for now, please enjoy not seeing your own face. Well, that's dumb. I want the viewers to see my face. Oh well, forget about it. It's time to carry on. Let's try to order something from the delivery application now. Surely, nothing can go wrong, right? Welcome to WW and BB Delivery. The rules are simple. Just type in the name of the restaurant you want to order from. Then, type what you want to order in the box below. Please note, to be able to send your order, you are required to type in your name and home address in order for your order slip to be shipped out. Now, go ahead and type something. I have to admit, this screen looks very nice. And also, the clock actually works, I am surprised to say. By my calculations, Burger Bell does not close until 10 p.m. tonight, so I will order something from there. Anyways, let's fill out the virtual paperwork. We are sorry, but we cannot complete your order, because the food items have salt in them, and you are allergic to salt. Yeah. You will become fat. Just order something else, you fatty red tomato. Or else, you will get the blue screen of death. What? You are just ridiculous. I am not allergic to salt. I am only allergic to shellfish. Never have I been denied an order because there is salt on my food items. Since this is such a stupidious reason, 
I will try and order my things again, anyway. Oh no! You have got the blue screen of death. You must restart your computer. Oh darn it. I got a blue screen of death while trying to order my food. I guess I can deal. Now let's restart the computer. Well, so far, this OS is the worst one I have ever used so far. Now that I am back at the main desktop I wonder what to do now? Oh, that reminds me. I was going to try and see if Siri works. So, let's check Siri out, and click on the icon. Hey Siri. Can you tell me what the weather is right now in Bumbleberg? That's so stupid. It says that Siri is not available because I am not connected to the internet, yet I already have my Mac hooked up to the internet. I will go do something else now, before I get even more infuriated. How about we take a look at the internet application? It better be good. Oh me gosh. This browser looks so horrible. I have never seen so many advertisements in my life. Free iPhone 12, meet singles now? First of all, I already have an iPhone and a wife, thank you very much. And second, those ads are not even legitimate ones. It's just one of those clickbait ads that give you a virus. And really? Delta search? After further perusal, many people say that search engine is just nothing but a virus in disguise. I am not going to continue using this browser, unless you give me Google. Shut up. You are only allowed to use this search engine. And especially no viewing websites, movies, or video games that are made by a big idea which is you. Okay, fine. Speaking of websites, which ones am I allowed to visit? You can visit all of these websites, and nothing more. All of these websites fall into one of two categories. Either they are horrible, or mediocre. All except for YouTube. What I think I'll do is that, I am going to go there to check my YouTube notifications, and then after that, I will watch the Cat Scratch episode King of All Root Beer. Oh, Nickelodeon! Whiz whiz. Yes, Nickelodeon. I am still watching King of All Root Beer from Cat Scratch, and it's one of my favorite shows. Bot bot, nobody hates Spongebob. And shut up and we are watching King of All Root Beer. Oh my gosh, not again. This is bad. This OS keeps getting more and more unstable by the minute and I don't know what to do. I'm so upset, and I need to calm down now. I know. I will open up sketchbook and draw a picture. Hey, this drawing program does not look half bad. Anyways, let's sketch a picture. Wow! My sketch actually turned out very nice. And my computer did not crash on me yet. In case you don't know, it's me with my older siblings, Katie and Roy Tomato, just warming up a little. Now, I would like to save this, so I am clicking the save button. Oh gosh! Now what did I do wrong again? I thought it would be perfectly fine just to draw a family picture. But no, these limits had to be way too strict and drawn out. Pun not intended. You can't beat me, no matter how hard you try. 
Your drawing contains VeggieTales characters and Veggie fan characters, so it cannot be saved. We only accept Wizwals and Bot Bot themed artwork, and stuff with good design. If you do not like our rules, then I am sorry, but that is how I think things should work. Deal with it you idiotic crybaby. Well guess what? I got a surprise for you. I don't like the way you think. Hey! Start being nice to us right now. Ha! Take that for insulting me and fat shaming me. Wait. Is that a messaging application? I just came up with a great idea. I will get in touch with my brother, Roy, and start a conversation. Surely, he can figure something out. Wow, it's such a nice surprise to see most of my friends are in my contacts list. Anyways, let's send Roy a message. Okay, now that I have sent him my message, I will just patiently wait for him to reply back to me. Yes. He knows how to possibly get rid of it. Come on, Roy, don't fail me now. Please reply back to me with those methods, I want to get rid of these ignorant dolls as soon as possible. Oh Bob, you're so out of the times, yet you're such a genius. Are you kidding me? I can't message my older brother or anyone else for pointers on how to get rid of this operating system. That's pretty heartless of you, considering the fact that this OS is just too unstable to make use of. And also, why on earth are there replica Windows XP errors on a Mac-based operating system? This OS does utilize Siri, after all, so what's the point in that? First of all, we added Windows XP errors because we were too lazy to make our own creative and original ones. And two, you are not allowed to have others give you advice on how to get rid of our operating system because you got this operating system as a punishment. We are now closing chat for you permanently, and you will never ever 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 talk to your older brother Roy through here again. See you after the next restart, fatso. I hate you, was was and bot bot. You and your stupid knockoff show. And you are going to get it, also for calling me fat more than two times. But anyway, let's restart the computer once again. Let's check out the shop next. I am very intrigued as to what they might have there. Welcome to WW and BB Shop. As you can see, we got everything you need, with more deals coming every day of the week. Our claims and reviews are never disputed and are verified by our experienced staff and fact checkers. Our best offer today is this super ultra rare bald eagle potato chip, starting at $4,999 at this one time event. Statistics shown that most consumers are satisfied with their purchase. This potato chip comes with a certificate of authenticity and is an amazing deal, so take advantage of this special offer, and don't miss out on owning a great addition to American history. God, I hate this store. Who in their right mind would want to buy a bald eagle potato chip for that large sum of money? It's just going to sit and collect dust. It's probably already expired too, so think about that, it could attract bugs and rodents. And also, I can tell right of that your statistics and reviews are completely fake. They were only made by you and BotBot. Bot. I could spend much more with this amount of money. I could buy a year's worth of, of Netflix, donate to charity, spend the money on my bills and taxes, and even to invest in my show business career. You get the idea, right? You know what, I am done with this idiotic excuse of a store. I want to do something else. How about we check out the story application? This one has me a little excited. I wonder if Wiz Wiz and Bot Bot would read a Snoodle's tale to me. I love being read to whenever I am stressed out about certain things, don't you? 
Okay, fine. We will read a Snoodle's tale for you, I guess. So, here it goes. Far far away, in the land of Galoots, where the big old bag trees bear their big old bag fruits, and far lily bushes all blossom and yellow, and thin bottle plants squirt snow berry jello. Here where the, you know what? I am not even going to read the rest of this story to you. Why? Because you suck. And that's what you get for hating our show. You are going to stop already? We haven't even gotten to the good part of the story yet. This is one of my favorite stories and, surprise surprise, you are now over here complaining and insulting me instead of reading me the book like you said you would. Seriously, what a surprise this is. You had one job you too. One. Job. And this is just more proof that you can't do a single thing right, even something as simple as reading a story. You have such genius levels of stupidity, whiz whiz and bot bot. You two should win an award. I don't care if you allow criticism or not. Without criticism, you will not improve at what you're doing. You do not better what you are trying to accomplish, because, without criticism from people like me, you do not know what is wrong with your OS, or anything else for that matter in the first place. Ah uh, whatever. I tried to help. Go ahead and ignore me, I don't give a dragon fruit about it. Now where was I? Oh, yes. Let's move on to Notepad. I think this is the last usable application we have here on the desktop. Okay, now that I am on Notepad, it's time to write something offensive. Get ready to be slammed with insults, boys. We are sorry, but due to the fact that your note contains offensive content, we are now taking away your notebook privileges until further notice. Sorry about that. Get over it. Whatever. <laughs> and can you please stop laughing at once? B to the O to the R to the E to the D. What does that spell? Bored. I suppose I am stuck with this OS forever. There's nothing left to do here, and the start button is there for no reason at all. Hey, wait a minute. I just realized something. I was experimenting with my Mac a little while ago before I started recording this video. And I just came up with another idea. Maybe, just maybe, I don't need Roy or anyone to help me get rid of this operating system after all. Now it's time to go and teach these dolls a lesson. Wait. Bob, what are you doing? You're not trying to get rid of us for real, are you? How would you like to get another blue screen of death? Oh, you'll see. I got something I want to show you too. Just give me a moment and I will tell you what that something is. Alright you two, now that we are all back together here in System Preferences, I want to show you two a little something. You might even be a little surprised after you find out what you have truly gotten yourselves into. Now anyways, bot bot, and was was. I wanted to ask something of you too. A small favor, of sorts. Well, okay then. If you are ready for us, could you let us know, please? Don't worry about a thing, I will. Okay. I am ready for you now. Now, listen to my directions carefully. Please, read aloud to me what the green text in 111 point font says. Virtual, Virtual machine. machine. Correct. And do you know what that is? No. no. A virtual machine is a computer within a computer. In other words, I trolled you. No way. This can't be possible. How did you manage to outsmart us like this? That's it. It's time to give you an even bigger punishment, Bob. So you two think you can stop me now, huh? Well, I'm Bob, I'm a tomato, and I am the leader of this video here. I do not think you can force people to buy or use your OS, that's abusive. You two are going down for trolling, insulting, abusing and irritating me because of those darn annoying laughs. No, wait. We still have many more fun things to do in this OS. 
Please, don't leave. Well too bad for you. Now it's game over for your OS, just like how you thought it was game over for me. Goodbye, WizWiz and BotBot. We will be back. You heard me. I will be back. Threat has been detected. Yay! I finally defeated WizWiz and BotBot OS. Now I can get back that virtual machine that I was using. I am so happy that my actual desktop is okay and that it did not succumb to a computer virus. Now, let's boot up Mac OS again. Hooray! I got my virtual machine back. And all thanks to a certain tomato who looks just like me, and Steve Jobs. Well, everyone, I just want to thank you for watching this video, and I hope that you enjoyed it, but if you didn't, that's okay. We all like different things. Now that I've restored my virtual machine, I think that now would be a great time to finish some work on my real desktop. Thanks for coming over to my house today, and remember, God made you special, and he loves you very, very much. This is Bob the Tomato here, and I'm signing out.